Hello everybody, in this video I will be planting uh, several plants here in this area that I've been working on this week and I'm gonna start with this beautiful black lace elderberry is the name of this plant, it's beautiful the flowers, the blooms are gorgeous so I was looking for something with dark foliage I have a lot of green here and this area is part shade, part sun uh, it depends on the season and uh, I'm gonna throw this picture you can see the beauty of this plant uh, it's still small uh, I think it grows up to six feet I'm, I'm gonna remove all those uh, bases that I have in the back and that little fence uh, I really don't like it I have those uh, bases for years and they grow like up to five feet which I don't like, so I'm gonna give it away and give it space for the elderberry. Uh, in this front side, I'm gonna be planting Primo Peachberry Ice and Daisy May from Proven Winners. It's a more compact size, uh, it won't grow that much. I have those uh, Daisy May around my water fountain and they are beautiful, they keep the size so uh, let me check the tag what it says uh, they grow um, from 12 to 24 inches which is is, is pretty good and um, needs to be a space uh, minimum 10 inches and maximum 14 inches and it's uh, hardy in zones 5 to 9 uh, and i am planting on zone 7b uh, so they will be great here. Let me check uh, the peachberry. What is this? This is a hooker. And this is zone uh, uh, four, four to 10. So perfect in zone seven. And they grow, um, up to 10 inches, perfect size. So they won't grow or overtake the space. So I'm gonna be running quarter inch tubing with emitters every six inches that I already received in the mail today. So I'm so excited to uh, try this out because I always use small emitters for each plant. So this is probably gonna be great for this area is just a long uh, quarter inch tubing. Uh, I got it from Home Depot for $60 100 feet so it's plenty for, for a lot of uses. So who can have from Proven Winners? Daisy May from Proven Winners and uh, also the elderberries from Pro Proven Winners. So this, this section is going to look amazing. Again, I use Biotone starter fertilizer and I'm gonna be using soluble fertilizer every week.
you probably noticed, I deal with a lot of rocks in the soil. I don't know who mixed the soil with rocks, but it's all over the place. There is not a single hole that I dig in my backyard that is not full of rocks, and rocks big size. So I have to remove them all probably uh, a foot uh, before I clear all the rocks and try to amend the soil obviously start fertilizer um, and this is going to complete the series three hookers three um, days in May. And the final touch is the mulch. I love how everything looks after this mulch. Um, when I put the mulch, everything is, is just blends everything and clean uh, all the, the area. So I love uh, fresh and dark mulch. complete the project with these little uh, drainage uh, rocks to clean the edges and fill a little holes in this pathway. So that's it for today. I hope you like the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.